one of the biggest complications that we see in children who need um, central venous access devices is um, the catheters sometimes fall out um, and they don't necessarily fall out completely, they might just partially dislodge, but that impacts their treatment. So we wanted to find a securement product that was going to reduce the risk of dislodgement. And the other part of this is, this is about a child and family's healthcare experience. So these are children who need a central line. No one gets a central line as a child or an infant unless something really drastic is going wrong with their life. They're getting treated for life limiting or really, really acute conditions. And we're talking about preventing them from going through really distressing procedures, um, including re you know, really complex dressing change procedures or replacement of devices and anaesthetics. So if we can improve this, we think we can really impact their healthcare experience um, and then hopefully help them to get back to being kids quickly as possible. And we really wanted to look at how we could minimise the pain and distress that Amanda was talking about um, with those children. And they need to have this procedure done every week to reduce the risk of infection. So you had heard of an alternative product that was quite new to Australia called the subcutaneous anchor securement system. So that means that um, the actual securement device is um, kind of secured underneath the skin. And once that locks into the pick, the catheter is really easy to manipulate with um, confidence that it's not going to dislodge. I'm an economist and that's my background and so I guess going into the study the only thing I really knew was that the kind of the price of the device was about five times more than standard care which generally speaking is very worrisome like uh, there just isn't more money in the budget for more uh, products and more technology um, but really what kind of came from this study was at the end of the day, you know, the purchase price of the um, the securement device was such a small fraction relative to the overall total care. Once you start looking at um, the number of dressing changes, plus all the complications and other things involved and associated with caring for the catheter. So at the end of the day, um, it became more about where do we want to put our resources and if we can get it out of um, dressing changes, dislodgements and those sort of things and put it up front to make sure we're getting better outcomes, that's how we should be going about it. And it's a human factor resourcing as well in mm. a day where there's limited um, nurses available to assist each other in a specific task, having a um, securement product that you're confident is going to maintain that device during those dressing changes um, without having to bring in another nurse to assist. Um, that's a big factor in today's nursing workforce shortages as well. This is a fully powered superiority randomised control trial across two big paediatric centres in Australia. So it's been undertaken with all the highest quality methodology, um, including blinding of the outcome assessment, so that we can have a lot of confidence that we know that what we found is it's causation. We know that we found cause and effect rather than um, some form of artifact that's into the project, into the trial. Yeah, the results were really exciting. Um, we found that the subcutaneous anchor securement system reduced um, dislodgement, both complete dislodgement and partial dislodgement. Um, and the partial dislodgement is often the biggest problem. So the device is actually still infusing, but it might be partially out of the vein or not in the most ideal central position anymore. So for children having vesprint or chemotherapy and anti-cancer therapies, that's really quite important mm -hmm. because those medications are really toxic to the veins. So if it dislodges partially, it's not no longer in an area of high blood flow that could be could have implications for that child's wellness moving forward. And I think in terms of that partial dislodgement, I think one thing as an economist it was it was really the you know the clinical uncertainty and the amount of time sort of case management and resources required to sort of then make a decision about what to do. So even though it was a partial dislodgement it can be thought of maybe not as necessarily as uh, intense an outcome. Actually, in terms of a resources point of view, it's actually quite burdensome in terms of being able to get people back to the confidence that they can provide the best care for their child again. And that takes, you know, case conferencing with multiple specialists, getting people in the room to be able to discuss and kind of weigh up all the risks and, and what's going on with the patient at that time. So what, it was a four times reduction? Almost five, five times reduction. So yeah. five times reduction of dislodgement yeah. is, was the primary finding. So something that we're really proud of as a team, that we can provide this highest quality evidence to inform clinical practice moving forward. So you can rely on these results. 
With this kind of quality of evidence, I think it's you know really comforting that we're moving overall care in the right direction. Mm. And from an economic point of view, freeing up resources to provide even more care and better care for other people as well. As a clinician who inserts these devices, it's really quite comforting to know that you have found a product that is going to improve the outcomes of the devices that you're inserting. Um, you can confidently say to the parents that um, this device that we're inserting, this is the way that we're going to secure it. Um, we know that it reduces the risk of dislodgement and um, the healthcare clinicians that we work with, we can confidently tell them why we're implementing this device so that it's going to improve outcomes for the patients and also reduce their workload. So that's another, that's fine um, feature from the research that we found.